Good morning, folks. After a couple of months of solar quiet, I know many of you have eagerly awaited the opportunity to study a multi-impact geomagnetic storm, and I believe we're on the doorstep. We've got confirmation of our initial CME analysis, storm timing forecasts, the tropics are doing what we'd expect upon a solar uptick, plus we take a look at a major news release. But we begin at spaceweathernews.com, and we're going to watch the last 48 hours of our star. The Earth-facing disk has been responsible for a number of pops, but the main one was a multi-segment ejection resulting from a C-class solar flare. We already saw the halo eruption coming our way. But now both NASA and NOAA's Enlil spirals are updated and confirm the impact expected later this week. I will side with NASA's impact timing of tomorrow midday. But before that impacts, we should be seeing a coronal hole stream impact today. Solar wind is very calm right now, the impacts will be easy to see, and while low-level geomagnetic storms are expected, a close temporal impact scenario could deliver moderate to strong storms. You can see a lot of the coronal holes here. There should be an impact from the southern and northern openings with the CME somewhere in between them. They're actually all southern fields as that polar extension from the south is transequatorial. In terms of solar flaring, we haven't seen much more as the Earth-facing quiet is a stranglehold on the big active region, other one failed to develop, and there is just the slightest hint of flare potential where polarities meet on the left. Only seismic note is an apparent mine collapse in West Virginia, one of the bigger such events in recent memory on those charts. As I mentioned, the tropics have surged to life as the sun has. After a record slow start to the season with a sleeping star, we've now had a record first half of July with an active one. But the big news today is actually coming out of Kepler, and it's quite out of this world. This is the article being passed around the net, but they don't even have the paper linked there for you. Here it is, 197 candidates, 30 false positive, 67 left to be analyzed, but 104 confirmed new exoplanets. I call the one with the water. Huh. Fun looking earth spot situation in the Indian Ocean. Most relevant piece of that is heading at Madagascar as the first cyclone of their season down there. In the East Pacific we still have multiple systems, not going to ignore Hawaii, but they are going to be spared the worst of it. It was a rough day weather-wise in the US as well. A bit more of that expected tonight along with some areas in northeastern Europe, northeastern China, and eastern Australia. We've got a look there plus shots of our star to close. Eyes on the solar wind and geomagnetic activity today plus any electrical effects therefrom. It's 3.25 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe everyone.